We're looking at homework from section 6.1. This is question number 19. If all other quantities remain the same, how does the indicated change affect the width of the confidence interval? A. Increase in the level of confidence. B. Increase in the sample size. C. Increase in the population standard deviation. So let's start with part A. Recall that the higher the level of confidence, the wider the confidence interval. So increasing the level of confidence widens the confidence interval. And that is your choice for answer A. In part B, how does an increase in the sample size affect the width of a confidence interval? Choose the correct answer. So recall the margin of error formula. Error equals zc times sigma over the square root of n. So if we're increasing the sample size, that means n is getting larger. Increasing the sample size increases the denominator. When you increase the denominator of a fraction, that decreases the value of the fraction, and therefore it decreases the error. So decreasing the error narrows the confidence interval. So your correct answer for part B is will narrow. In part C, how does an increase in the population standard deviation affect the width of a confidence interval? So again, we'll look at that margin of error formula. Error equals zc times sigma over the square root of n. This time, if we're increasing sigma, sigma is in the numerator of the fraction. Increasing the numerator of a fraction increases the value of the fraction. If we increase the value of this fraction, then that increases the overall error. If you increase the error, you widen the interval. So the correct answer for part C is will widen. And that's your answer.